So Thomas Cook, they've revealed their financial results. So, so what are they saying then? Well, basically, when they reveal their financial results, they also say how much prices are rising. And unbelievably, summer holiday package prices this year are 9% higher wow. than they were last year. Now, that's a small amount. It's to do with the collapse in the value of the pound since the EU referendum. But actually, most of it, they say, is due to the very high rates that Spanish hoteliers are charging, basically because everybody moved out of Turkey last year right. into Spain, and those prices they're making the are, most of it. Are, are higher than ever. So yes. they're more expensive if you go to Spain? If you go to Spain, um, Thomas Cook said that, uh, for example, the Greek islands are doing really well, bookings up about 40%. Um, also, people going to Croatia, Bulgaria, Cyprus and Portugal, which are going to offer better value. But I reckon I've got a few destinations that uh, are going to save you a bit more than that. OK, well, let's have some of your tips and tricks of how not to get stung then, shall oh, we? OK, well, the very first thing is I, I, I get lots of complaints. Well, obviously I do. I but, can't uh, imagine uh, that. Holiday complaints and by far the biggest cause of them are people who've just gone online, book the cheapest deal they can find and then find that the uh, agent they're deal dealing with actually doesn't deliver anything like decent service, may well be based abroad. Look, travel agents are great, but particularly if you can talk to them face to face or phone them up and know who they are. So buying the cheapest deal you find online could well be uh, the road to ruin, I'm afraid. Uh, next thing, of course, if you live in the north of England or the south of Scotland, you've got a great opportunity because the school summer holidays are so different. Typically, uh, Scottish schools are off in July, which means that uh, prices from northern England are likely to be lower. And similarly, they go back in August. So if you're in Newcastle or Carlisle or somewhere, just nip across to Glasgow or Edinburgh and you will get better value than you'll get well, from an good. English airport. And then finally, of course, if those Spanish hoteliers are charging too much, there are a lot of peer-to-peer -peer holiday sites such as Airbnb, HomeAway and so on. Worth having a look at. So explain peer-to-peer. -peer. It just means that um, you, if you happen to have a spare room in your house or indeed a, an apartment uh, that you own, you can uh, hire that out to somebody else and that can be good value, but of course you don't get the package holiday protection mm. that no, that's true. Uh, comes with it.